while the ACA uh, is fundamentally built on expanding access and having the government pay for it, uh, we have yet again uh, this opportunity to reform healthcare in America uh, that certainly be re-engineered from the ground up. And this is, this is what I stand on in my campaign. Yeah, I think that's absolutely right. I mean, access, uh, you know, I believe is a human right. I mean, healthcare should be a human right. At some level, basic care should be available to everybody. And in most developed countries, it is. Um, in this country, it's it's not. It's very tough. And and there's a tiered healthcare system for sure. But it also um, is really clear that we 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 have an opportunity to deal with this chronic disease epidemic in a different way. Um, in a way that addresses the root causes of it. And just by expansion, I mean, I'm terrified by the expansion of Medicare and Medicaid. Why? Not because I don't want people to have access, because if we open the floodgates and let more sick people in the system, it's going to be overwhelmed. We saw what happened with COVID-19. But when you think about the fact that six out of 10 Americans have a chronic illness, that 75% are overweight, that four out of 10 kids are overweight. I mean, we we have such a burden. And unless we stop the flood of people into the system, we're really not going to be able to solve this problem. We're going to keep basically bailing the boat while the boat's sinking instead of going, why don't we plug the hole in the boat? And the plugging the hole in the boat has to start with dealing with why people are sick in the first place. <laughs>